Actually, first things first, let's look at the bag. Plot terms, letter, treaties, love letter. Four, I have four of them. Oh, nice. J. Five, so I'm missing one. Of course I am. This. Does it say alive yet? No, it's not saying alive. Why? Okay, now I'm saying alive. Okay, I'm alive now. Let's go back to the YouTube app. I can't do this one yet until the elf place opens up for me. So let's do this. I have four of the five. So I shall. As you desire. Lovely. Of course. Now they get the fuck on. Oh my god, god damn their fucking time. Well, all right.
Ah, okay, went too far.
Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. As you like. <laughs> this is probably the one I need. Wow, really? That is probably the one I fucking need. Really, and I can't... Dashboard again. Lovely. And so I shall. We've been waiting for you, Warden. Just die already! Good shot. No mercy. I do can't. Oh. Of 
Okay, this is beyond fucking stupid. Braska. Indeed. Oh, blast it. Yes. And so I shall. Wait. No, 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 no. Yes, of course.
How the hell did I miss it? That just seems about right. It appears we will need to fight the entire blight ourselves. And so I shall. Of course. Lovely. attack more than once. Isn't there a chat? All men are the work of our maker's hand. From the low. A little something extra for friendship.
What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down, that's what. And your wits about you. I hear there isn't even really any dark spawn down south. It's all Grey Warden work. You're back. You need something? Oh, yes, yes. Look over here. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. 
You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such-and-such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now, please leave. Quest completed. Oh, it's only dexterity, though. But I know who needs this dexterity. Oh, that is... Nothing else, huh? You'll be fighting Darkspawn! You'll be fighting for your lives! I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. 
How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you play the nursemaid to, not Orzammar's rejects. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. And don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. I should have him here, dammit. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Calling the Landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Team's here. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? By all means.
I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All is tale in the book. How should I know? My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. None of the other elven boys in the whorehouse knew their fathers. I was not so unusual. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. <sighs> my original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. I don't feel anything about them. Oh, we heard about them in the city, even deep in Antiva. I even had the notion once to run off and join them. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come. Enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Feraldin's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Feraldin's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty. Just like the country and the people. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Well, all right. Is it true there's a prince among the Arles visitors? None of them looked all that princely to me. Another leveler. Nice. So many visitors. Nothing came about. Oh, here you are. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Oh. Yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. I suppose I must be. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. It must be the vertical pattern it put them in. Did it know to do that? It must have. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. <laughs> Oh, dear God.
What you need? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. Aye, I'll teach you. Just be ready. To be a berserker, you have to face your own inner rage. Let the spirit of battle take over. And all that dust. There's a whole pile of philosophical rot that goes behind it. But the bedrock is this. Get real mad and kill things. I can teach you what gets my hackles in a twist. But no one can tell you what'll set off that killing rage in you. Finding that is the key to berserking. And once you got that, I tell you, the ladies love it when you're all mysteriously angry for no reason. Trust me. You're a quick study, Warden. You must have been seriously steamed up about something for a long time. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. Aye, all right then. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. The Chamberlain disapproves of us. If Lady Isolde hadn't brought me into this household from Redcliffe last year, I'd never have been given a place. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Okay, works for me. Lovely. Doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. <laughs> okay, so that place is now unlocked. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await your command. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. You called. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. 
She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. If the palace guard be siege, house, estate, my lady will certainly be killed before they can reach her. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. Arl Howe hires so many new guards every day, a few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Well. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were <laughs> not like you. Why? Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? Oh, I get it. I'll get it out of you yet. So, is this the part where I get to say the same? Oh, I think so. I'll just spring it on you when it's a... <laughs> Hilarious. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Hmm, I need to end this soon. I still can't go there. You know, I've heard about the Orlesian bards. Who hasn't? They are quite famous, after all. The stories I heard were a little racier. It had to do with how a bard assassinated her target, how they were lulled into complacency. If those stories were true, who would ever agree to entertain a bard in their court? Oh, I don't know. There's a certain allure to danger, isn't there? And besides, 
You couldn't all be assassins, could you? I'd take my chances. If the stories were true, that is. We had rules about that sort of thing. Strict rules. Such as? You're not going to tell me, are you? Let's just say I had plenty of reasons to join the Chantry, shall we? And leave it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing much here, but we're ended here. Stay safe, all.